close up. Good morning. Hi, it's Allison, and I help people stay accountable to their health and fitness goals and help other people help people do the same. So it is 6.45 in the morning. I will tell you that I know you can see I have wet hair, so I probably showered today. I wake up at four every day. Um, short of, you know, if there's, maybe I go to a wedding the night before, I might wake up a little later, but as far as day to day, I get up at four, four o'clock. People ask me why, why do you do that? I know it's not for everyone and not everyone needs to get up at four. I like to get work out and get ready before my daughter wakes up. So she's not up yet. She has actually shifted a little in the morning to be a little later, which has given me a little more time, which means I can come tell you morning motivational tips. But, so, how do I do this? And how um, would you, if you want to do this, how would you do this, right? You want to know how to make it easier, especially now you might be trying to decide to, um, try to get more fit in the new year. You might be trying to make more time to exercise or to work on something in the new year. So if that's one of your goals, here's what I'm going to tell you on how to wake up early. My number one tip. Now this has changed as I've seen it affect me. Wake up at the same time every single day. Talking weekends, I'm talking every day wake up at the same time at least to get started because when you do that it forms the habit it gets you used to it maybe you don't do it forever but when you're getting started i would say at least three weeks until it starts getting a little easier get up at the same time i do get up at four almost every single day even now i've been doing this for over a year um so tip two have a plan. The last thing you want to do when you get up at four o'clock in the morning is figure out what to do next, right? You don't wanna be thinking about that. You wanna know exactly what you're going to do. You don't wanna have to go find, um, figure out, okay, what workout will I do today? You're gonna to do none if you wake up not knowing what workout you're going to do. So have a plan and that's something I recommend for anyone trying to take on any goal. If you want to work out, have a plan for it. Otherwise, it's not gonna happen. Have a schedule. That's why I love using programs. It comes with a schedule. I don't even have to think about it. I wake up in the morning, all I have to do is look at the schedule if I haven't already looked at it the night before. I know that there's something on my schedule for the day. Um, and that's with any goal. I also have other things I do before she wakes up in the morning. But I know that when I get up, I am going to do X, I am going to do Y, I am going to do Z. It doesn't change for some things, like the actual tasks might change, but I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna set my goals for the day. I'm gonna set my to-do list for the day. I know I'm going to do this every day. If I wake up and I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to sleep, right? Yeah. So tip number three is to have everything prepared, especially at the beginning. You want to have, if you're, I know I use the workout analogy a lot because that is what a lot of people wanna wake up earlier to do, okay, right? A lot of people aren't saying, I want to wake up and check my email earlier. No, you want to wake up and work out for the most part. So you want to have your workout clothes out. You want to have, if you have like a tra fitness tracker that you wear, you want to put that right on top because you will forget, especially if you're leaving the house to work out. Um, have your hair tie out. Have your socks out. Those are one of the things that I always forget. Um, if you're gonna eat or drink something before you work out, have that prepared. You know, do things to make it easier so that when you wake up, you know what you're going to do, you know what tools you're going to use, you have them all out and ready for you, you've taken out the, you know, variability so that you know what you have to get done and what tools you need and they're right there, especially if you have a spouse or other partner that is 
next to you still sleeping because you don't want to wake them up. You don't want to use that as an excuse, right? Everybody has used it. Oh, it wakes my husband up when I wake up. It wakes my girlfriend up when I wake up. Whatever you, you don't, it wakes my kids up when I get up. Mm? So plan that so it's easy, so it's quiet, so that you can get your things done and you take away all these excuses. Because really, the key is with anything you want to make easier on yourself is to eliminate the possibility for excuses. So with these, we're eliminating the excuse of not knowing what to do, we're eliminating the excuse of waking people up, we're eliminating the excuse of not knowing where your things are. So take out your excuses and find ways to, to get ahead of yourself on those excuses so that they're not there. The possibility for them drops away. All right, so that's what I have for you today. If you want more tips, more motivation, I post lots of times a day on Allison Getting Fit page over on Facebook. I'd love to hear from you. So have a great day, and if you're getting up early tomorrow, set the alarm now. All right, 